Hello and welcome back to Back to Curiosity. Recently, researchers have made first-ever functional graphene semiconductor. So what is this graphene semiconductor and how it's different silicon semiconductor and how it's going to impact quantum computing? Let's dive in. In the 21st century, the pursuit is to develop electronic devices that are both smaller and faster, whether for applications in the medical sector or robotics. Experts have been busy working on producing advanced materials for modern electronic devices to meet this escalating demand. A team of researchers at the Georgia Institute of Technology has achieved a significant milestone in this endeavor by engineering the world's first functional semiconductor using graphene. Graphene and silicon are both materials that exhibit electrical conductivity under particular conditions. Graphene is a two-dimensional honeycomb-like structure formed by a single layer of carbon atoms organized in a hexagonal lattice. It is well known for having exceptional qualities, including strong electrical conductivity, mechanical strength, and flexibility. Silicon, on the other hand, is a chemical element with the symbol psi and atomic number 14. It is a hard, brittle, crystalline solid with a blue-gray metallic luster and is a tetravalent metalloid and semiconductor. Georgia Tech's graphene semiconductor has the potential to emerge as a viable substitute for silicon in the years ahead. According to the press release, the semiconductor is compatible with conventional microelectronics processing methods. We now have an extremely robust graphene semiconductor with 10 times the mobility of silicon, and which also has unique properties not available in silicon, said Walter Deheer, Regents Professor of Physics at Georgia Tech, who led this development. In summary, graphene and silicon are different materials with different properties. Graphene is a two-dimensional honeycomb-like structure formed by a single layer of carbon atoms, while silicon is a chemical element with the symbol psi and atomic number 14. Georgia Tech's graphene semiconductor has the potential to emerge as a viable substitute for silicon in the years ahead, mechanical strength, and flexibility. This newly built tech could be used to advance quantum computing. It's an extremely robust material, one that can handle very large currents and can do so without heating up and falling apart, said Walter Deheer, Regents Professor of Physics at Georgia Tech, who led this development. Semiconductors are materials that exhibit electrical conductivity under particular conditions. Georgia Tech's graphene semiconductor has the potential to emerge as a viable substitute for silicon in the years ahead. According to the press release, the semiconductor is compatible with conventional microelectronics processing methods. We now have an extremely robust graphene semiconductor with 10 times the mobility of silicon, and which also has unique properties not available in silicon, Deheer said. This innovation holds great importance in the electronics industry, considering that the commonly used silicon material is nearing its limits in the face of increased demand for quicker processing and smaller electronic devices. The newly developed graphene semiconductor has the potential to advance quantum computing. Quantum computing relies on well-controlled, coherent interactions between quantum bits, qubits. A qubit is a coherent superposition of two quantum states. The major obstacle towards realization of a working quantum computer is decoherence, which involves the loss of the quantum properties due to interactions with the environment. These interactions collapse the qubit. Georgia Tech's graphene semiconductor has unique properties not available in silicon and is compatible with conventional microelectronics processing methods. According to Walter Deheer, Regents Professor of Physics at Georgia Tech, who led this development, we now have an extremely robust graphene semiconductor with 10 times the mobility of silicon. The newly developed graphene semiconductor has the potential to advance quantum computing by providing a more robust and efficient material for qubits. If you found this video insightful, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and do let us know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. Until then, take care and be curious.